what is up my ninjas i'm strident and welcome to another review today we're taking a look at the gene psych and logan three pack from hasbro marvel legends uh and i got a lot to say seems like the community the people at large are calling this the love triangle three pack whatever it's not a love triangle it's i mean i guess it, it was a love triangle so whatever but uh it's just the gene gray wolverine and uh Cyclops 3-pack. Um, I got this at GameStop. I went to the Fru Fru side of town to pick it up. And I have to say, despite some of my misgivings and some of the stuff that I heard in, uh, and I saw in other people's reviews, I did not get a, a shitty... Come on, guys. I'm sorry. Things over here are falling down, so my mistake. But uh, I did not get a shitty copy of these figures. The paint on mine is actually pretty good. Um, my articulation is pretty good. I don't have any issues, no sh um, stuck joints. I finally have a Wolverine with uh, you know, the mask off. So I can finally um, do what I'm doing right now. We can be like working. Um, as you know me, I was big into Children of the Atom and Marvel vs. Uh, I'm sorry, X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom. Those are my games. And I now have a large-scale Cyclops with the jacket on. Because if you remember, I've shown you my uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter uh, Toy Biz uh, four and a half, five inch uh, Cyclops with the actual physical leather jacket, like a real, you know, real, like a material, you know, soft goods leather jacket. Um, Gene, I'm impressed at the tiny little things they did to make her different. Like, her lower body is some of the same parts from the original, and then they re-sculpted aspects of it to make her musculature a little bit different, like in her hips, and then the legs kind of fill in. It's not the weird wide-jointed bullshit that we had on the first uh, Jean Grey that we got. And her face looks lively. Both faces. The head that she comes with, which is not this one. It's the full hair, you know, all the way out. Um, she looks alive, which is wonderful, you know? Same thing with Cyclops, man. Like, he, even though the colors are more comic accurate here, where everything is yellow instead of the gold visor and then the yellowish... Uh, everything else and then the dark blue like he has right here he has uh, or I'm sorry the slight instead of having the the video game colors where it's like orangish yellow he's got the darker everything and then the brighter yellows so him and Wolverine match really well I think the yellow matches with uh, Kitty Pride, and uh, it also matches with Rogue's yellow so, you know, I'm going to do a picture of the whole team so you guys can see what they look like. And you can see that, you know, I'm not bullshitting when I tell you that they did a great job with these. And if you get one that has really good uh, paint apps, you're not going to be pissed. You know, there's nothing to be pissed at. Um, Wolverine's bone claws, actually all of the Wolverines I have have good paint on the nose. Um, I don't know how people got such bad paint in some of their copies, you know, because I've seen a couple I commented on Chiefatron's video his had some real shit paint and uh, I don't understand how that happened I don't understand why that happened I don't understand how he was able to look through two cases worth and end up still having paint issues on his like that doesn't make sense to me but that seems to be you know their shtick you know but uh they did a great job and I'm going to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly and let you guys know what I found works with them and what doesn't work with them. Because there's some things, there's small things that don't work and there's things that you're, you've been hearing that are not necessarily true for every single copy. Like, people think that this gene is all entirely new parts. She's not. She's mostly the same parts as the, as the previous one. They've just retooled certain things and the colors are right so she feels better. And like, I'll show you because I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the two of them and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But it's nice to finally have the, you know, the core of the, you know, the X-Men 
and have variety. You know what I'm saying? Because like the old Cyclops looks really good next to the old Jean. But I think now the old one will look the old Cyclops, the orange in his costume matches the orange on Jean's suit, which is weird because in the comics, that's not how it was. It was exactly like this. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to go over it and talk about these guys in more detail. And uh, yeah, you guys can uh, get something to eat, drink, because this is probably going to be a long one because I have a lot to say, not necessarily a lot to show you, but a lot to say about this particular uh, pack, this this offering from Hasbro. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's get this thing started. Okay, let's start out with Jean, aka the Phoenix. <clears throat> so she's the main event. She's why we're all here. And I have to say they did a great job fixing so many of the issues that existed with the previous one. This one feels natural. She feels more like what we had been seeing all that time and you know how we all had that collective gasp when we saw the uh the uh recreation of the famous x-men number one cover it's all here and it's it's pretty awesome things really start to stand out when you look at them side by side i mean the other one just feels frail you can see they redid the torso the upper torso whereas the lower torso kind of feels you know the same maybe the way it's painted and the colors kind of allow for you to see more detail but uh this face you know there's so much wrong with this figure i mean i kind of begrudgingly bought it the first time because uh i needed Jean. you know what i mean you gotta collect you, you want to complete the team and x-men was one of the only marvel legends uh sets of characters that i was going after but when you see what they did now it's like the fuller lips, you know, the, the nicer expression. She just feels more legit. I mean, from head to toe, the, the, it, it just, I don't know. They fixed everything. The thighs look thicker. She does feel a little bit more like what we had been seeing on uh, the page for a long time. And uh, she even has more, slightly more heroic uh, proportions. And for me, that works really well because that's what I'm, expecting now if you notice <clears throat> they did a really uh, a serious job toning down the sexy um and you're gonna hear me make reference to that a lot because ever since this digney Dis uh, digney the disney merger that's been something they've done to kind of downplay you know how cool these characters look especially the women i love it i, love it. I, I mean i can't really say anything negative I heard other people had issues with paint splotches and like the eyes and like this weird streaking stuff going on on the face. I didn't have any of that on any of the figures. All of them, my paint, and I didn't even get to check. I just got the one that was available. Someone canceled their pre-order and I just happened to be asking at the, the day that they canceled. So um, I was like, yep, <laughs> let, me, let me have it. So yeah, she's good. My biggest gripe, and it's a minute gripe, is that, so they did the padding down here, these little um, gold uh, padding thingamabobs, whatever they are, pads. Why didn't they do it up here too? It's not a decal, it's supposed to be like a, like a piece, you know? But besides that, I can't complain. They did a great job on Jean. Now let's take a look at the boys real quick. Because there's not too much to say for figures that we've been given a hundred different times, you know? So Cyclops and uh, Wolverine and Cyclops. They gave us a lot considering these are figures that... I'm going to move her off to the side by the professor. They gave us a lot considering these are figures that we've been given before, you know? Um, I was surprised because I was expecting to just get this. You know, Wolverine, of course, with his helmet on. But instead, for Wolverine, you got two heads, two sets of hands and with claws. And one set of hands has the bone claws. And then the other has the classic standard claws, which I took out because they are removable so that I can do what you, you see in, in those images. Um, then he has this unmasked head and the mask pulled down on that you can put on the back of his uh 
you know, the back of it, the back. <laughs> so here we have Wolverine, um, looking ugly as ever. I mean, look at that face, look at all trollish or orcish or something <laughs> but i mean that's him that's wolverine man that's that ugly ass face and it's i guess charisma to some degree that gets him all the ladies but uh it's pretty dope because i've never had an unmasked uh well, like the option on a marvel legend style wolverine so it's nice to finally have that i missed out on the classic wolverine uh that was on the old school uh card back that came with the unmasked head and you know i wasn't going to pay extra money for uh you know unmasked head variants I was just going to wait until Hasbro does it, and then I would get it. Or I would have waited until I got the Mafex one and dealt with that. But I'm happy that we got one from Hasbro. It looks good. It feels natural. It doesn't feel strange. And it looks, you know, it, it fits. Um, the biggest thing with this figure, and it's the same with Cyclops, is paint. A lot of the paint that you're going to see on these figures are, it's slightly different. It's like comic versus the cartoon. Um... And some people, actually, there are some episodes of the car, the cartoon where they were actually uh, pretty accurate to what they look like in the comics. So, you know, it's all preferential. You're not really getting a brand new figure. It's exactly the same figure. They didn't even retool stuff with them. Um, but they did color things differently, like the fur on his arms. He does have the bone claws, which I don't know if you can pull out, and I'm not going to try to. But they look good. They look really good. And it's kind of funny because for me as a kid, the only Wolverine I had, well, that's not true. The second Wolverine I had was from uh, Water Wars. Um, as you can see, he does come with the Metal Claws, but the Water Wars one looked somewhat like this. It was it was around that time when he lost his uh, adamantium, the whole Fatal Attraction storyline. Um, I dig this extra head with the battle damage because Wolverine is that guy. He, he gets his costume tattered, you know, from all the the getting stabbed and shot and all that stuff so you know it's nice to finally have that too but as you're gonna see in the picture i had the water wars wolverine and he didn't have a mask and he looked savage and he had the bone claws so this is a throwback for me um and you can kind of see the similarities in color um the comic books tended to have you know some artists did brighter colors some did muted colors but that big ogre ass face but it's funny because the last time we had bone claws was the logan i mean the wolverine figure from select marvel select so it's nice to see what they did here with that but uh yeah you're seeing reused parts as usual it's hasbro they just can't help themselves but overall he's really good but cyclops slim you know that I'm geeked about Cyclops. We can never have enough 90s Cyclops. And this one, this this does it. This kind of sets it off because this is what we were missing. You know what I mean? It's the last piece. I mean, not that we couldn't get a jacket, but, you know, it's the last thing Hasbro needed to do. And then the other piece that they needed to do is in here as well. But as far as, you know, the head sculpt goes, the difference between the previous one and the newer one is that previously we got kind of a gold like a metallic finish to the visor just like we saw in the books whereas this new one it's like mustard <laughs> like typical mustard yellow just you know um he looks pretty cool though i dig his stature because they already got that right um we did lose articulation in the arms so he can't really touch the visor which is pretty stupid because they got it right uh, previously but uh, as you can see, the last time I had one with the jacket was the X-Men vs. Street Fighter version from way back in the 90s. Um, I love this figure. That is mine from when I was a kid. I also had the one from Monster Wars, which is that with the, the cartoon colors, which was the almost sky blue jumpsuit and the chromatic yellow uh, boots, pants, straps, gloves, you know, etc. So, um... It's nice to see, uh, I still can't believe the jacket survived, but my Blade 2 jacket didn't. It's strange, you know what I mean? Because this is uh, a little older than that figure, and somehow this still survived. But it's nice to see, you know, you go back and you look at where they were at, where Toy Biz was at with some of this stuff, and you see how Toy Biz gave us every variation fairly quickly, but Hasbro is finally getting on that bandwagon and realizing that this is what you have to do to get it right, you know? 
and the jacket is nice, but the uh, it's inconsistent. You know, you've got weathering on the torso portion of the jacket, but not the sleeves. Um, but it's Hasbro. You know, I don't expect a whole lot from them. Uh, but like I said, you can see uh, the yellows are slightly different. Uh, you've got orange on this one, and we talked about that in that review. And you've got yellow on this one, which matches the Wolverine, which matches some of the other characters on the team. It's not as bad as some people make it sound. Depending on how long you've been reading X-Men, you've seen all these variations before. You know, even Jean. Jean is usually a peach color, her costume. Not orange. But some artists do give it more of an orange tint to it. So, you know, if the rest of them have that orange tint, it looks like it fits. But it's never... It, it wasn't a rule that it had to always match the same, you know, the yellow and the orange on everybody else, which I thought was strange. I always felt like they should be as uniform as possible, and I loved it when they had the away costumes, you know? The away costumes were always dope to me, because they always wore pretty much the same thing, except Gambit would put on some kind of jacket, sometimes Psyche would have his jacket on, but the rest would match, you know, overall with the yellow and the blue, because they're X-Men and it makes perfect sense. But as you see here, we're given alternate heads. So we get the blue blockers, which is dope. That's the, uh, I want to say the 70s and 80s Cyclops without his visor on. And uh, it looks good. He's all business, real straight faced, you know, not even cracking a little bit of a smile. And then we have the 90s, uh, somewhat like aviator inspired Ruby Quartz uh, shades. And he's kind of got a lighter expression, which is more in line with how he was once he got married to Jean Grey. He was slightly, slightly, when it came to her, he was slightly more, uh, you know, happier, you know, and, and, and chill. Um, you do see there's paint on his forehead right underneath that swoosh of hair, so I guess that's the only paint defect I have. I can scratch it off, but it shouldn't be there in the first place, and I'm surprised I didn't notice that before. It's not really that bad, though. It's like such slight overspray. But, you know, I don't. I didn't have any of the super bad paint de defects that you were hearing other people have. And this was even on an um, alternate head, too, you know? So that works for me. But, you know, once again, it's just awesome to see where Toy Biz kind of started and where we ended up, you know? But anyway, he has uh, multiple hands, <laughs> the fists... And he has the, uh, you know, the same visor hand from the uh, previous one. And you can swap the heads if you want to. They actually work and they don't look bad. I prefer this head, though, because it matches the 90s costume. So, you know, all in all, they did a really good job with these guys. You know, I can't really complain too much. I mean, outside of the usual stuff. But uh, here's a look at the old little trio from Toy Biz back in the day. I swear I played with those guys so hard. <laughs> I made them do everything. But, uh, you know, a little little nostalgia right there. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's nice to, you know, look at the whole team and see that we finally got the majority of the team. All I got left to get is uh, Archangel, and I'm good. You know, that's everybody. Um, and I love it. I love it. They look great. I think they are totally worth the money. So all in all, I am pleased. I am happy to finally say that my team is just about complete. Um, and I think that the three pack is worth it if you can find it for a decent price. Don't pay those inflated prices. I mean, like I said, I walked into a GameStop and I was fortunate enough to get one fairly early. So you, know, you could too. So if you see these guys, pick them up. You will not regret it. That's it for me. You guys have been great. As always, peace outside.